kwa wale hawajaelewa why i open to the live this is the reason hi mama uh, there is somebody who has just called me akaniambia cbo inafungulwa through a system called e citizen e e citizen ni ya kuapply all the government documents so iko hivi kama cha lote ndio ile kuapply ya e cbo inamaanisha wakienda kwa system jina ya cha lote ndio ita appear kama the founder wewe jina yako itakuwa pale but jina yako cha lote ndio itakuwa kwa system jo ali apply through e citizen yake so, so akanieleza ku solve this tufanye hivi tuchukue lawyers wawili tu sign a petition against chalote chalote akuje aji assign kusema yeye si mwenye uh, mwenye CBO wewe pia usign mkisign ninyi wote wawili inamaanisha jina chalote itatolewa kwa iti citizen ya CBO yako alafu yako itawekwa itakukost but ita work hii ni maneno ya eko maka eko maka ndio amenipigia simu hata yeye alifungua alifungua CBO na isha waimfanyikia the same same thing tunapitia una, sahi isha mfanyikia ndio amenieleza nikuambie hivyo so let me find Churchill to see how we can do we can go about this and then the details on the certificate all the details are chalotes all everything apart from hiyo nyako nyako tu ndiyo yangu hizo zingine ni za chalote location dandora my sub county is not in kasarani my sub county is embakasi hizi vitu hizi details zote ni za chalote signed by his son huyu ni chalote huyu ni mtoto wa chalote ame sign this is chalote's son signature Um yeah that is it every constituency ruaraka easy details zote ni za chalote chalote anaishi division kariobangi north mimi siishi huku the only thing that is relevant kwa hii certificate is this nyako charity otherwise everything is a scam kwa hii certificate Everything on this certificate is a scam apart from this name We you don't work like this you don't do this So I've sent my brother to Huduma center now i've sent my brother um anaitwaje um landlord nimetuma landlord uh, nyayo house aende angalie jina ya nani iko kwa hii foundation tusiwe tuna run foundation na foundation haiko kwa jina yetu and if it is not in our names we see what we can do about it cuz e nyako e title ya nyako register nayo foundation yake e jina ya nyako si wachi mtu wote chalote atafute jina aweke kwa foundation yake but not my name sawa sawa so that is what is going on chalote never sat me down to discuss anything with me things are just happening things are just happening And by the way, nilikuwa nataka kuongea juu ya huu best yake. Huu anaitwa D. Huyu wa cancer patients. Fear women. Fear women. There was a plan and it was hatched very very well. Na hiyo plan imegonga ukuta. Cause that woman is Charlotte's best friend. Udem ako na cancer foundation ni best friend ya Chalote. And funnily enough, Chalote never discussed anything with me. Nothing. Eh? Na huyu mwanamke wa kansa, mimi nilimsupport. I used 100,000 to support her foundation. 
this woman, she came to my foundation. She never gave me, ata, ata shilingi kumi. Kuniambia tu nyako, nime kusupport na ata ten bob. And you expect me, I promised her makeup for the Kenya, for the cancer patients. You expect me to go to the supermarket, I buy makeup and bring it to you. You mimi ndiyo nikonayo. I'm just asking a general question. I promised that lady to buy makeup for cancer patients. Eh? So mimi niende ni buy makeup ni kulete. Wewe umekuja foundation yangu with zero support. Na ucha lote, ucha lote ameni support na nini? Tuanzia hapo. Ucha lote ameni support na nini? Because when they cooked, I used to pay them. Niko na mpesa, I used to pay them. Plus the, her, her children, I used to pay them. So, yeah, alikuja kuni support na nini? Na speech. Alikuja kuni support na speech. Uyu ni nani ananiomba game? Miss Taki kucheza game. Let us call a spade a spade. It is not fair. Because all along, Mimi, I just had, I was just seeing a friend who want to help me. I didn't know that Talote was interested in what I'm doing 90%. 10% belongs to me. 90% belong to her. It doesn't go that way. Silengi, nalenga nini? When you take somebody for granted, they will also take you for granted. Nalenga nini? Nalenga nini? How do you build a foundation for somebody with all your details on the certificate? Does it make sense? Minsi kuwa na address na nilitumia chalote my passport I sent chalote my ID chalote akuna details zangu zote mpaka mali ni ninaishi chalote anajua how come her own details landed on this certificate sisi sote tunaishi tunaishi Eastland awezi sema nyako akuwa na address that is why I put mine why did she put her own details on somebody else's certificate and what was there to be the signatory on my foundation what to see wajinga we are not stupid and why have i lost money why have i lost money on a website that was almost being finished because the details were not mine everything was chalote 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 hiyo kitu imekuwa registered berlin the foundation is registered in Berlin. I don't live in Berlin. How did Berlin's appear in my website? You and your one. It is not fair, guys. Mimi sijawahi kosea chalote. I have been hearing the noise and I thought muna muonea. I didn't know that chalote had hidden agendas when it comes to this foundation. I am shocked. I am deeply shocked. And I did not raise any eyebrows because I thought she was genuine all along. I thought she was genuine. You guys, mimi ni kionaga mtu. Kwa nini nilikosana na cabinet? Kwa nini nilikosana na Auka? Because Auka was questioning the interest of Chalote in this CBO. That is the reason why nilikosana na Chalote. Because Auka asked me, who is this Chalote? What is her interest in this CBO? That is why I, I kosanad with Auka. Because Auka was too nosy and I didn't like it. And by that time, I was not raising any eyebrows. When it came to Charlotte, I protected Charlotte the most. Even King Rosso never questioned what relationship do I have with this woman. King Rosso just went along. I told King Rosso, Mimi ni nakuja Dubai na Rafiki. 
He never asked her a question. Because what Nyako trust, everybody will trust. Because I am honest. I say the truth. And I treated Charlotte as a queen. There is no day I treated Charlotte bad. Hmm? There is no day ni me treat Charlotte vibaya. No day. So, that is what has happened. Chances are, if Charlotte agrees to surrender the foundation to me, everything will be good. We will change the details. Life will go on. Akikata, we go to court. Akuna nzie ingine. Akuna nzie ingine. And the best person Charlotte can talk to is my brother. You mimi ni kikasirika hivi. I don't give anybody any chance to talk to me. Because kama you didn't take ile chance ulikuwa nayo unionyeleshe Charlotte has been with me for the past 3 weeks mpaka bara kwetu ushago she never uttered a word we slept together in the same bed she never uttered a word this is not the time for me to talk to Charlotte Charlotte atafute ndugu yangu aongee na ye. how we can clear this mess Because... You cannot betray me this way. It, it, it's not happening. It is not happening. Mchele kwa airport. Mchele kwa airport imefanya nini? Mchele kwa airport imedu. Let me tell you what happened. History ya mchele. Kuna bag yangu. I have a makeup bag. Aiko hapa. Ilibaki na mizigo yangu Kenya. I have a makeup bag. And uh, Peter came to visit us at the beach. Mulikuwa mnatuona at the beach, Dubai. Let me clear it. Because people are taking this thing in a different direction. Let me clear it. Because we talked about it with Charlotte. And I don't know how this issue ended up on TikTok. Because I've never talked about it. I'm even shocked that you know about it. How did you hear about it? If somebody didn't talk about it. Eh? Ada story yangu ya kuchukua Lufthansa eh, 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 na tume, eh, tumelipiwa Emirates. Mimi nilisikia from somebody else. I did not come here and told you guys mimi nimechukua Lufthansa. Nilikuwa napigiwa simu in the, in the evening. Nyako, kwani umenunua tiketi ingine? Eh? So guys what happened about history ya michele naona mnaelekea 1700 mnapenda udaku mnapenda mnapenda violence Kenyans wanapenda maliku na moshi lazima moshi lazima moshi yo wake maliku na moshi ah mkenya ataka hata afadhali akose kukula lakini hiyo udaku haijampita let me clear historia mchel Peter came to visit us at uh, Radisson tulikuwa tunaishi Radisson Peter akatufuata Radisson beach tulikuwa kwa beach na you know the heat of Dubai we were just at the beach tukibangaiza huko chini and by the way Charlotte never spent a cent when we were with her she never spent a cent tukiwa dubai king rose walitupatia 2000 dirham kila mtu pocket money yake and when it came to food tumekula kwa tumbo nilikuwa nalipa na kadi yangu the first day hiyo hiyo time muliharas king rose ana to treat vibaya i paid with my card 240 euros first day tulikula pale kwa beach with my own card So Charlotte never spent a cent. She never spent a cent of her own money. Kwa hiyo trip yote. Aya. Bella ai, chai ni tamu yes. Wacha ni clear historia mchele. Sasa 
tukamaliza kwa beach tukaenda kwa hoteli hmm? kwenda kwa hoteli pita alikuwa na sisi i think he just meant good pita was just bored unajua dubai kama ujui watu hakuna kazi ya maana imekuleta pita alikuwa anabangaiza tu si ati ndio namtetea alikuwa tu ana anabangaiza sasa hii mtele tukatoka beach kutoka beach tukaenda kwa hoteli and peter was there peter alikuwa tu hapa karibu na mimi alikuwa tu ameka hapo kwa kiti si niliwaonyesha room we were sharing one room with two beds si ndio kufungua makeup bag mimi nikaona vitu zinaka kama crystal 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 ai apana it was not the next eh, it was the next day nilikuwa naenda kuchukua kitu kwa room nikaingia kwa hiyo makeup bag i was looking for something nikapata vitu ziko kama crystal crystal ai hizo vitu zikanishika macho nikasema hapana hebu nikauliza chalote hizi ni nini niako na bag chini kwa swimming swimming, uh, swimming pool nikauliza chalote chalote hebu angalia hizi ni nini chalote akashika shika akaniambia mm. Zinaka kama chumvi chumvi hivi na pia zinaka kama they were crystal like crystal ukishaona crystal meth watu washaona crystal meth vile inaka zilikuwa zinaka hivyo crystal meth watu wa kukutumia drugs you know how those things look like sasa nikamwambia chalot hizi vitu zinaweza zinaweza kuwa zimetoka wapi we only had one conclusion peter ju sisi tumetoka Germany Atujakuwa na contact ya mtu wote hapa Dubai. Na kama hii kitu inaweza kuwa uh, dangerous, it can only be Peter. Because Peter was the one in our room, the only stranger in our room. Bas. Sasa nikamwambia Chalote, kutoka kwa hii ngori tufanye aje. Wacha nitupe hii bag. Jua tujui hizi ni nini. Let me just remove my makeup. I throw the bag. Alafu nikatupa hiyo bag. Nikatoa kila kitu, nikatupa hiyo bag. Sasa kutupa hii bag, ni watu ningetupa hii bag itupwe 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 iende. Ningekuja na conclusion hizo zilikuwa drugs. Lakini kitu ikaniambia, ah ah, chalote. Hii bag yangu mimi naipenda sana. Nikarudi kwa takataka nikachukua bag yangu. Nikarudisha makeup. Aya mimi nikasema kama ni drugs watu wa airport watagundua na kama sio drugs ah basi tuko tu sawa so why i have I've never talked about this story hizo vitu azikuwa drugs begi iko bag yangu ikifika hapa nitawaonyesha hiyo makeup bag so how does it make sense Nikuje niwambie story ya ya, ya, ya ya crystal yenye ilikuwa ndani ya bag na tujui ni nani ameiweka we were just making uh, thinking we were just thinking loud why should i come with such an accusation hapa kwa tiktok it it i've never talked about the story and it doesn't even make sense to talk about it you can bring assumptions on camera and talk about it because you you can be taken to jail or to court for that you don't just talk kitu auna nini proof kwanza when it comes to drugs you don't just talk suskit thank you you don't just talk when it comes to drug issues you can be held for it sasa mimi ningekuja na story kama hiyo niseme Peter alieka drugs kwa bag yangu na nilitupa bag na sina hata evidence si Peter anaweza kunistack eh so guys please kama kuna content wataneni nayo there is no way i can address Peter where he should not be addressed please tuheshimiane hakuna story hapo hiyo mchele sijui nani aliwaambia and if i had problems with peter ningeshakuja nikawaambia bag iko bag nilirudisha makeup 
Nina ko nayo Belgium. Nina na kama hiyo bag ingekuwa na, na, na drugs hata watu wa Jomo Kenyatta. See they held my bag for two days. Wangepata hiyo bag iko na drugs. Na bag Nina ko nayo wapi? Belgium. Nina alishafika Belgium jana na amefika na bag yangu. Hizo ni airport ga, ngapi hiyo bag imepita? Hiyo bag imepita Dubai. Ikakuja ikapita wapi? Jomo Kenyatta. Ikakuja ikapita wapi? Amsterdam. Na sasa hii bag iko wapi? Belgium. Kama ilikuwa na drugs, si ningeshawaambia. So, please guys. Let us give let us give credit where it is due. Mimi ninaona Peter was just idol in Dubai and decided to spend good time with us. Hiyo ndio maoni yangu. Peter even took us to the desert. Peter even make photos. We didn't have a photographer. Kama mtu ni mzuri, give that person credit for what they have done. So kwa hii hi safari yetu ya Dubai, I cannot say anything bad about Peter. Nothing. Peter received me from Germany. Alipewa hiyo kazi. Peter received me VVIP treatment Dubai. Peter made sure that I was safe in Dubai. And Peter made sure that we came back safely to Kenya. So, mimi, anything that I can say bad about Peter is zero, koma zero, zero. Pengine musikia kuingine, lakini siyo kuangu. Mimi kama nyako. Na hata nini, um, uh, e, launching. They were advising me to throw Peter out. I said, I am not throwing Peter out. Whether Peter was involved in a rape case, hainiusu, it has nothing to do with my launching. The advice was, tumshike kijambazi kijambazi, tumrushe inje, nilikata. Nilisema, if foundation niko kwa jina yangu, na Peter will come. And he came, he had his good time, and he left. So, easy stories mna collect, collect. Kama ni mbaya, ni mbaya. Kila mtu alete version yake. Kama mtu aline record, if I said otherwise, alete. Because mimi, I like genuine and honest people around me. Because I am also honest. Only kwa kesi ngumu ngumu, utapata kama I am a little bit, eh, 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 Inaituaje? Koni. But 90% of my life, I try to be honest. 90%. Nobody's perfect. Sawa, sawa. So guys, why did I call you? I will be making a trip back to Kenya very soon to solve this issue with the government authorities of Kenya. Kwa ground. Iwe kwe clear, i foundation ni anani, Iko kwa jina ya nani? Ndiyo huyo Chazi amesema. She was there. Na nilisema akuje. Chazi, you had the conversation. You had what was going on. People, people advising me to throw Peter out. I refused. Nilikata. Mtu wakikutendea mema, unamrudishia na mema. Mpaka, akukose. And as for Chalote too, I protected Chalote. When my cabinet raised, ni raised or ginene, raised, I think it is said like that, raised against Chalote. Nilisema, afadhali nipoteze cabinet yote, lakini ni protect Chalote. And this is the outcome. If, yani mimi ni kiona wewe ni genuine, there is no reason for me to come up with, with ideas about you, negative things about you, no reason. So I protected Charlotte the best I could. Lakini hapa mali tumefika. I cannot protect Charlotte anymore. Aonge na ndugu yangu aseme ukweli about this CBO. Na tuwachane. Tuweshimiane vile tulipatana. Ni mweshimu na mimi ni jieshimu. CCTV mefanya nini? CCTV yote mango. CCTV medu? Eh? Eh? 
Ne, we made a picture. Charlotte made a picture of the crystal. Charlotte made a picture. So, I got evidence. There was crystal in my bag. Ali Piga Peter. Who was doing all the payment? King Rozo. King Rozo did all the payment. King Rozo alilipa kila kitu. Yeah, so guys, that is it. I just wanted to let you know that I could be traveling to Kenya anytime soon. Niende ni solve the issue. Niende personally Huduma Center. We see the way forward. Because if this foundation is to grow, then it has to be genuine. You know, we, we, we should not live on assumptions that nyako ako na foundation where there is none. Sawa sawa. So, in the next two weeks, I'm coming back to Kenya. Do it online. Alfie, either way, online, I'm a personally, either way. The, the lawyers will advise me what I should do. The lawyers will advise me. Do it online. Kila mtu anasema nifanya online. If it will be possible, I will do it online. Um, I've sent my brother there. He's going to be advised what should we do to secure this CBO or foundation as product young. Lazima nifanya kazi na watu, guys. But you must talk to me. You cannot work with me by force and the foundation is on my name what about if you steal money from somebody and I don't know about it? Sinita Shikwa. Linda Chebi, thank you. Yeah. You, you cannot put yourself in somebody's foundation. Now you want an idea. If you go and steal, Mimi ndiyo nita Shikwa. When it is too late, na siyezi kuji defend, na sema uyu mtu, simijui. It doesn't work that way, guys. If you want to work with somebody, you sit down, you sign a protocol. You sign agreement. Charlotte never even asked me if I'm okay. I wake to work as signatory. You know, this is somebody, I don't know her background at all. She, she, didn't, I, she didn't ask me. There are things you must sit down and talk about. Vitukama is sasa. You have to sit, agree. It is not just like uh, we are selling our men in, this, uh, in, the, in, the, in the CBO. It doesn't work that way. Yes, Suskit. It is good to be honest. Honest, na kila kitu iwekwe tu wazi. Mimi ningejua all this. Singe discuss na nyinyi hizi vitu. But because nobody informed me. Nobody. This is why I have to bring it into light. Mkai mkijua the details of what is happening. Siati mkuja mseme, nyako alitukon, nyako alifanya hivi hivi, nyako kumbe au kutuambia ukweli, so you've been taking all our money and you know this is going on. No. It is not happening. Not with my name. Watafute njia ingine, but not with my name. So guys, thank you very much. Patent, trademark your name. I'm gonna do that, Fred the Duke. Thank you very much, guys. I have a lot in my, in my plate to chew. It is too much. My head is, is blowing up. Kichwa yangu inapasuka. Because I don't know where to start and where to end. I don't know. So guys, Kwairin, I hope you are bank account. Bank account ni mtoto wa chalote alifungua. So I also have to sit with the bank chini. 
we are not putting any money kwa your bank account until the bank tell us walks me through yeah until the bank walks me through is it was a foundation mimesis yele with these things are new for me chalote and his son did everything together kila kitu chalote na mtoto wake Hmm? Sisi tunamzindikisha tu kwa safari. Me and my brother tunazindikisha chalote kwa safari. <laughs> and it will come out that we launched Chalote's foundation. Don't be surprised. Don't, I, I will not even be surprised if I'm told we launched Charlotte's foundation. I will not be shocked. Na vile tuli dance. Nyako Foundation. <laughs> Salote overtook the foundation. <laughs> Ali, kuna mtoto alipata sponsor. Iyo siku. Mpaka no skuna. <laughs> you need advisors. Yes, Fred. I will look for advisors. Definitely. Now that Auka is officially back in my camp, Auka has a lot of knowledge. And Auka, I'm, I'm still gonna need Auka. Guys, I need Auka. I need Auka to put some wisdom in this my my tiny head. Hmm? Auka came back to my 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 camp today. Alipiga simu, akaomba msamaha kwa presida. Na nikachukua msamaha and we are good. And he regrets every bit of it. Alisema nyako, we started this journey. There is no way I'm dropping out. There is no way. So Auka is back, officially. So Auka will walk me through. You know niliko sana na Auka juya chalote? Because I was protecting chalote. And Auka was just asking very important questions that I should have paid attention to. Yeah, so Auka is back, and he is ready to assist me wherever he can. He will, definitely. Mayolo, thank you. Yeah, so guys, that's it. That is all I have to talk about. Mko 6,500. Nataka kuangusha nyinyi. Nyote, mukatafute udaku kuingine. Nilikuwa kwa baba. Baba likuwa na babu wino somewhere. Then I just dropped when I got this voicemail. Ni wacheze tena, hii voicemail ya, ya chine. Kwa wale ya wajailewa, why I opened the live. This is the reason. Hi mama. Uh, there is someone who has just called me. Akaniambia. CBO inafungulua through a system called e-citizen. He is citizen, they are apply all the government documents. So, I go easy. Kama Charlotte no le ko apply ya ECPO. Ina maanisha, wakienda kwa system, jina ya Charlotte ndio ita appear kama the founder. Wewe jina yako itakuwa pale, but jina ya Charlotte ndio itakuwa kwa system. Jo ali apply through e-citizen yake. So, so I can realize that this to find you, to check your lawyers or really to send a petition against Chelote. Chelote Akuje, I just assign Kusema YAC Munye, uh, Munye CBO, whoever pay you sign. Munki send him your water or really in a manisha in a Chelote to look at the citizen, yes, CBO Yako. Alafu yako itawekwa. Itaku cost, but itawak. 
hii ni maneno ya ekomaka ekomaka ndio amenipigia simu hata yeye alifungua alifungua CBO na isha wamfanyikie the same same thing tuna unapitia una sahi isha mfanyikia ndio amenieleza nikuambie hivyo so let me find Churchill to see how we can do we can go about this yeah that is why I nilifungua live and then the details on the certificate all the details are chalotes all everything apart from hiyo nyako nyako tu ndio yangu hizo zingine ni za chalote so <laughs> let us start nini but it is not that bad ndio tunaanza so everything can be changed it is not that bad it is early atujapata donors we only have one dollar one donor whom everybody is aware about otherwise wale watu wamebaki wote ni watu wa tiktok na watu wa tiktok pesa zenu huwa mnanitumia mimi and i take them to the people of kenya so we are still safe i just don't want my name to be used somewhere without my knowledge nishtuke tu polisi wanakuja kunipiga pingo and i know nothing about it sawa sawa that is why i decided to talk about this thing openly pesa zisikolektiwe mahali na jina ya nyako anasina habari sawa sawa so far there, we have a lot of people guys and i don't think if it is safe to mention anybody as per what is going on it is not safe to talk about anything when it comes to wale watu wana to support it is not safe so wacheni kuandika jina za watu hapa i think i am learning not to not to talk about everything online i am learning when it comes to that just let it be because i'm not gonna address it dona money nini i'm not mentioning anything about that shit sawa sawa asanteni Chalote akitaka kuni contact apigie ndugu yangu simu. Chalote knows my brothers kuna Wajakoya, kuna Chachil, kuna landlord. She has met them, she can talk to them, she can play explain herself. As for me, I'm not talking to Chalote. To Chalote in any way just to be safe. Hakuna kitu tunaongea hata akinipigia simu, I will not pick it. Sawa sawa. Thank you very much. Kwa Irene. Mtu ananiuliza why? Because 